Some more breaking news that is coming in. This time from Israel. The Israeli army has sent reinforcements after encircling the city of Ramallah. This after a Palestinian man shot and killed two people and injured two others in the occupied West Bank on Thursday. The Israeli army's radio said that the gunman had been shot by armed passers-by. The shooting took place near the Jewish settlement of Ofra, where another gunman wounded seven people in a separate attack on Sunday. We have our West Asia Bureau Chief Daniela Pagani joining us live from Amman in Jordan with the latest update on the front. Daniela, talk to us, what is the latest that you're picking up on this front? As you correctly pointed out, the Israeli army is currently encircling a part of the city of Ramallah. Ramallah is the de facto institutional capital of what may be called as Palestine, which is the West Bank, the portion of Palestinian territories which goes beyond the Jordan River. The army is encircling certain neighborhoods and certain villages around Ramallah in search for the government who did the last episode, who's behind the last episode of violence, as you pointed out. Someone who has not yet been identified is behind the killing of Israeli army personnel standing by a bus stand close by Ramallah. This is the peak moment which comes after, I would say, at least a week of a surge in violence in the Palestinian territories in the West Bank. Everything started on Sunday where a gunman, or maybe two, it is still unclear, from a moving car shot at Israeli uh, settlers uh, standing by a bus stand. Uh, after that, the Israeli army has been chasing uh, those individuals uh, responsible for the shooting and they gunned down a man yesterday evening who was considered to be behind that act of violence. So this is the peak of a moment of crisis between the Israeli Defense Forces and individuals within the Palestinian territories who seem to be perpetrating an act of violence. Right, Daniela, I have to ask you this. The last few months have been extremely unsettling uh, in this region in terms of uh, this entire uh, conflict. Uh, what do you think this latest development is going to do? Because this is a powder keg of a situation in the first place. It is difficult to predict, to predict uh, certainly, yes, the last month, uh, uh, but even the last month, particularly the last month, has been very, very uh, fragile. It all started when in Gaza, nearly Israel and Hamas uh, reached the brink of war. We were very close to a war, so much so that the Israeli Defense Forces had uh, decided to resign, uh, that the Prime Minister of Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu, nearly faced immediate election and an uprising all over Israel. Uh, Israelis are criticizing the current Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu for being too soft in handling terror attacks and any sort or uh, any surge of violence coming from the Palestinian territories. Uh, uh, this is a, a big move. The Israeli Defense Forces in such large numbers uh, blocking uh, significant portions of the so of the de facto capital city of uh, the West Bank, the de facto administrative capital city of uh, the, um, uh, the West Bank. Remember that Palestinians do not consider Ramallah their capital city, but Jerusalem. But as a matter of fact, the government, as of now, the Palestinian government is Ramallah, is nearly unprecedented in the last years. And so it remains to be seen what happens as of now. Palestinians have not massively responded to this surge in violence. They're waiting and watching what happens, but the situation is ongoing, so the coming hours will be crucial in order to understand how this may develop.